It must have been quite a shock for my parents when they saw me for the first time. Here they were, a young couple, both able-bodied, excited for the birth of their first child. And then they saw me. Two fingers on my left hand and one finger on my right hand. A left leg that was bent in an awkward position and three toes on my right foot. But you know, I grew up believing that everybody has challenges. Real handicaps can be overcome. It's the imaginary ones in life that really disable us. That's one of the reasons that I wrote the book, Playing from the Heart. You see, I really think that success comes from your heart. It comes from having passion and a sense of purpose. One of the messages that I want people to take from this book is that we have the ability in life to accomplish great things. First step to that, we got to give ourselves something great to do. In my own life, I've really come to believe that I'd rather have one leg and an optimistic attitude than two legs and a pessimistic attitude. You see, our mindset is the greatest resource that we have in our lives. The better that we choose to think, the better results we get. Think about this in your own life. If you believe that something is impossible, you will then look for evidence in your life to support that pessimistic view. In the same respect, if you believe that something is possible, something is attainable, then again, you will look for evidence that will support that optimistic view. This is not Pollyanna thinking. In life, it is what it is. But wouldn't you agree that our attitude determines how we see what is? I hope in reading Playing from the Heart that you can tap into your sense of purpose, that you can find something in your life you can wrap your heart around. Because if you do, you'll never let disappointment become more powerful than your desire.